The next thing we're going to look at is how to add the API details for Twitter. Now you're going to need to provide 6.5 with that information once you've got it. So let's go ahead and create a new application in Twitter. You can do this under your, uh, your Twitter account. It doesn't have to be under anything special. And we're going to call this one the Jindy Guide App. So we've added in the name, the description, and our primary website. We also need to put in a callback URL. And in that case, the callback URL allows the system to know where to send requests when Twitter uh, logins need to occur. So what we're going to do here is add in the apps.65.com.au Twitter callback. That's really important. If you don't get that right, it's not going to work. Click yes, I agree, and create. There's a couple other steps that we need to take here. So once you've got that application, let's go into settings and tick the box that says allow this application to be used to sign into Twitter. It's nice to put a, an icon on there as well. So grab a square icon, open that. And we're also going to put in that this was brought to you by 6.5. So you'd want to put your own company details in there. I'm going to click update settings. Finally, we're going to go over to permissions and we're going to change this to read and write. That's really important because we need your application to be able to post to people's timelines. So I'm going to click update there. And once we've done that, you're going to need to send us the API key and the API secret. That information needs to go to 6.5.